What's up guys? I hope you're as excited as I am because I got a good video today. A lot of you have been asking about the Total Recon scripts and now you're wondering, does it work? How does it work? Are you able to find vulnerabilities? And are you able to exploit things? And can you bake cookies with it and go to your grandma's house? And does it fill your car up with gas? The easiest way for me to answer all these questions is to just show you my screen, go over a target with you guys, and let you be the judge for it yourself. But first, I'd like to thank my Patreons out there, and especially my newest Patreon, Mitchell, for joining and supporting the channel. Without you guys, I couldn't keep this YouTube channel alive and bring you this piece of shit production for everybody to enjoy or for everybody to hate. Anyways, back to bug bounty reconnaissance. There's really no quick fix, one-stop shop, drag and click solution. You're really gonna have to put in some research and due diligence, but I'm here to help you guys out with that without making this video 10 hours long. Let's get into it. And if you're new to the channel, grab something to drink, grab something to eat, grab a chair, and let's expose some secrets. All right guys, so here we are on my Kali Linux machine. Here's the Intel script. Let's go ahead and run it. So for a quick example, I'm gonna run it against google.com. It's gonna start with subfinder, it's gonna do your subdomain enumeration. Let me go ahead and cancel that out. And it creates a folder for you with the domain. And it creates two folders inside there, sources and Intel. So let me go ahead and let me open up a target that I've been already working on. So here's the sources and Intel folder. Inside sources, We'll have your subdomain enumeration, which is a mass asset finder, sub finder, and it creates them all into one file called all.txt. Now, if I do a word count on all.txt, it's going to tell me that it found 1,577 subdomains for me using a mass asset finder and sub finder. So from there, it's going to jump into your intelligence folder and it's going to go through your HTTP probe, wayback scanning, and fuzzing to see what is actually valid URLs out there. Let me do a word count on wayback. So wayback found 2 million URLs for me, but a lot of those aren't going to be valid. Let me go ahead and open up the valid URLs. So what's valid is 8,705 URLs after being fuzzed. So from there, it's going to take them and it's going to jump into nuclei for scanning. From here, I'll open up the files folder and I'll go ahead and manually start to enumerate these URLs to see exactly what files have been exposed to the internet if it contains sensitive information. And then in the generics folder, you can see that there are some, it looks like base64 encoding, um, some tokens that have been exposed on a website. It also then jumps into your GF patterns and the patterns that I'm looking for in those 8,000 URLs is cross-site scripting and SQL injection. So if I go ahead and open this, you can see that it found quite a few URLs that match the cross-site scripting parameters. So I would then test these URLs to see if any of them are actually vulnerable to cross-site scripting because they do match the patterns for that. And then I would also go ahead and then start to look for any vulnerabilities that matched these SQL injection parameters. So this is how I start my reconnaissance. If you have any questions or you want to know more about that, hit me up in the comments. Shoot me a message on Discord. But this is how I like to start my reconnaissance. And then from the intelligence that it finds, 
I'll go ahead and then walk that trail and find out if anything is exploitable. So thanks for watching guys. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.